a sight to make a London commuter's heart sink. Underground stations being closed. Wednesday evening, it was happening across the network as a strike by staff and drivers took hold. Four unions have walked out after talks with management collapsed over pay and new nighttime services. The big problem with their proposals is that it doesn't deal with issues of work-life balance and anti-social hours working. Our executive committee will now be deciding what, it, what are the next steps to take. But really, if progress is to be made, the company now needs to be sensible and sit down with us to find a solution. The industrial action is set to bring the entire tube, as it's locally known, to a standstill. London transport bosses have called it irresponsible and Britain's Prime Minister David Cameron described it as unacceptable. But it's commuters who bear the brunt. I'm lucky enough not to live so far from the centre, so I guess I will either manage it actually walking or maybe taking a cab. Of course, it's going to be a kind of a mess. I don't know this city, so now I have to figure out how to, how to use the buses. Maybe they are right to make a strike, but everybody is having a very, very difficult time until Friday morning. More than 1.2 billion passengers use the tube every year, and even a short strike can cause major disruption. Our correspondent says... Due to this strike, which is unparalleled in the last decade, more than 200 extra buses have been laid on and extra bicycles will be available for hire as Londoners seek alternative ways to get to work. But all of this won't go anywhere near compensating for the walkout by 20,000 tube workers.